Hello and welcome to your September 2023 reading and we're doing it with the energy of the blue moon which is um, high in the sky at the moment and so we shall take advantage of that energy in order to do our reading today. Uh, I have three cards to tune you in to your reading and they are from uh, an Angel Blessings Oracle deck that I have. Um, and so without further ado, we'll make a start. We have Freedom for the card one. We have Surrender for card two. And finally, we have Ignite Your Light for card three. So I'm just going to give you a couple of moments to tune in and think about which card you're most drawn to. Of course, if you're drawn to more than one card, go for that as well. If you're drawn to all three, you never know what messages are there for you. So uh, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Anyway, I shall allow you a few moments just to tune in to your reading. Hello card one and welcome to your reading. As you see I haven't turned the cards over yet so it's going to be a nice surprise when we see what they are. Um, hopefully you can see all these okay. Um, I'm sort of working with the camera angles on this and um, it's a little bit tricky uh, because um, I don't have a sort of fancy setup. It's just me and a phone and uh, a few bits of lighting here and there. And uh, unfortunately, I have a little bit of problems with glare from the lamp above as well, which doesn't help things. But, you know, it is what it is. And we just muddle through and do the best we can. Anyway, without further ado, we will get started. <clears throat> oh, the reading got a little bit of horse there. As I was putting this together, um, <laughs> I kind of... J jaunty little song pop into my head um was it happy days are here again and i'm singing along to the music you know do 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 happy days are here again so i'm wondering whether there's going to be <laughs> hopefully some positive vibes with this uh reading so let's have a look. Without further ado, we will get started. Right, so the first card we have for the Oracle, and the Oracle cards I am using are the Witch's Oracle. Okay, I have three cards from there, and below them is the Elemental Power Tarot. Perfect, lovely autumnal vibes with these, so it's going to be great. What we've got here, we have the Moon, and we have Timing. Now, just before I do the rest of them, I just realised I haven't read the full entire angel card which tuned you in. Now it says here, freedom is the main word and freedom comes when you learn to let go. You can't always please others. That's very, very true. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's a tendency to want to be friends with everybody, but not everybody wants to be friends with you. You know, it's uh, one of those tough lessons you have to learn, I'm afraid. But um, anyway, the next card, as I said, is moon and we have the hair below um, and the hair tends to be a sort of more of associated with spring and Beltane and uh, stuff like that. And of course, we're now moving towards, it, you know, its opposite, its twin, as it were, which is the um, which is Sawain, which is the <clears throat> exactly sort of six months after um Beltane so uh yes a very it feels quite strange we're sort of almost sort of uh seeing the hair here reminding us that um the summer is coming to a close and that we're moving into you know the nights are drawing in which I've noticed already how quickly the nights are drawing in and so we are um also we have the the moon obviously and we have um a little owl there just to remind us now that we are in the darker phase for those of us who are in the northern hemisphere anyway those of you in the southern hemisphere 
um, the uh, hair might very well mean, you know, coming into Beltane, looking towards that season and um, spring and everything else. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know why, as soon as I started this reading, I got a bit of a frog in my throat. Don't know why, but there we go. Oh, and a bit of a yawn as well. Bit of an energy yawn there, right? Okay, and the next card we have pulled is the Neophyte. Um, uh, with the moon being timing and thinking about the time of the year and everything, we have Neophyte, which is study. And September is traditionally a time where people go back to school, university, college, um, you know, back to sort of the, the education month, as it were, the back to school season. Um, that is certainly upon us. And um, with our neophyte here, she is uh, veiled and she's looking into um, a mirror, possibly for scrying or learning purposes to get answers to questions that she's seeking. We also have the moon in the background as well. So the moon, which is very interesting because we have this super moon at the moment. So the energy of the moon is really, really strong here. And we have another bird as well. This one's an eagle this time. Very interesting. Right. So we're going to move on to our last card of the oracle cards. This one is the six rayed star and we have here unification interesting so we have timing we have study and we have unification and we've also got freedom as well so when i look at these three it really feels and also we have a moon as well i'm noticing the moon again but this time it's a a waxing moon so it's things coming into Wishing we have full moon for these two. So when I look at this, obviously I've got the sun there as well. But when when I look at this, it really feels like there's an energy of I want to say reunion. Um, it could be literally you're going back to college or school and you're going to be reunited with, with all your friends and everything else. But this, this kind of feels like you're being reunited with somebody that you that you've not seen in a while that, um, you know, I, I, it feels like you've both grown, um, matured. So you're certainly both different to how you were before. Um it it kind of feels like there's like an intertwine, especially here with the, the with the sort of divine male and female, um, and sort of the intertwining of the two, of the two triangles to make the star, and it, it just it just feels there's it's almost like it feels like two people have spent a fair bit of time apart because even with this freedom here, you feels like you've got two two entities two people and with here you've got the owl and the you know the owl almost representing the winter perhaps and the the hair representing the summer and it's almost like people have been kept apart and have had to sort of work on their own and they're now being reunited and joined together that that's the, that's the feeling i'm getting whereas they were sort of two separate entities Again, with the freedom, difficulties in, in actually joining with each other. Again, there is two sort of characters in this picture with the eagle above. Um, but, yeah, it just really feels like a rejoining, a re um, a rekindling even of something. Um, so, that, yeah, that's really nice. That's really lovely. Um, so let's move into the tarot cards, see if we can get a little bit of clarification as to what's going on here. No, or we may get something totally different. Anyway, the first card we have is the uh, Page of Swords, okay, with this little sort of crown thing. It's not really a crown, it's more like a circlet, really. And then we have, oh, mm, we have the 
King of Wands reversed. Hmm. And then we have the Three of Swords. This is very interesting. Somebody really like it was a fallout of some description. That's what I'm getting here. Um, yeah, definitely. I think I'm getting where we are with this. Um, <laughs> another another reversed king here as well. This one's King of Cups. Um, what I what I'm really feeling, I'm feeling that this is giving me more clarification on this. And what I'm getting is that I think there was very much a misunderstanding um, between these two kings. We've got King of Heart, King of. Now these don't have to be uh, male. These can be, you know, it's the energy rather than the um, and the strength of the energy, really. But I'm just getting that. Ooh. Ugh, energy yawn <laughs> it just feels like this this card here this page feels like communications that have not quite landed properly or there's been misunderstandings um on both sides and both both parties have misunderstood a situation um and it's led to some really sort of ill feeling and pain and, uh, and you know, I'm not sure I go as far as broken heart, but certainly in that kind of feeling, you know, is this, it, 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 you can even, friends can even break each other's hearts, you know. It, it feels like it was something that, that really needed healing. And these two people really needed time apart to to heal this. And then they're not quite there. They're not quite there with this healing. They're, they're, that's why the, the cards have come out reversed. Um, but it, it doesn't feel to me like this is over. But it does feel to me like this has got to be worked out. This is not going to be, a, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Patch things up. But this, this has got to be worked out. If, if you guys want to... Um, put things right if you guys want to uh patch things up and, uh, and and make that friendship bond or relationship bond back again it's going to take the both of you to work this through um and <laughs> probably the whole happy days are here again um yeah it could be happy days are here again it really could be um i i don't see anything negative because i feel that both parties actually want to resolve this they actually want to work it out so um what i would say to you is you know whether you reach out to this person or not or whether they reach out to you if they reach out to you be receptive and let's hope that if you reach out to them they will be likewise but um yeah sit down talk it through you've both learned some lessons i think you've both matured over the time that you've been apart whether you know whether the whatever kind of fallout this is it can even be a family member um but it's definitely a fallout it's definitely resolvable um but it's going to take both parties to do the job so yeah with the power of the blue moon may two people that have fallen out um repair their relationship hey <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed that and it's been of use to you um all i can remains to be said is take care um mind how you go unless you're gonna look at one of my other readings and i'll see you there take care bye hello card two and welcome to your reading right here we are um I uh, did a video a little bit earlier and it didn't quite come out so well. So I have turned over the uh, cards for this one. Um, and so I'm going to be able to give you a nice little insight into what this card is about. So the cards that I have for you for this reading are the Soul's Journey Oracle, which are the three above here, and then five of the Dark Wood Tarot, which I haven't had out for a while, but now we're sort of into autumn. I'm probably going to be getting this out a little bit more. Um, 
So I, you know, I, I just didn't feel it worked in the summer. Uh, it's it's not really a summer car, a summer deck, uh, deck as it were. It's more shadow work. It's more the darker part of the part of the year. So uh, we should be seeing this deck a, a lot more often in my readings. I may even do a shadow reading. Uh, sh yeah. Sh um, <laughs> A shadow work reading and possibly a Hecate reading with these. These feel a little bit more um, sort of in tune with her. Uh, but anyway, um, just going back to your angel card, you chose Surrender. Uh, release all tension, mental, emotional, physical, and the universe will support you. And I feel this is what you've done here. Um, you've had to let go of something that meant a lot to you. And now you are just getting to the point where you're going to see those benefits. We have for the uh, soul's journey, we have love, worry and discipline. And love, it says, I commit to the practice of serving serving the good in all seeing the good in all things. Sorry, my, uh, my eyes couldn't quite see that correctly. Um worry, I am learning that our worry that worry doesn't change an outcome and discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to now what i feel this is about or what i felt this was about was that there's been some difficulty in a relationship with somebody now this doesn't have to be romantic it can be family it can be a platonic you know friendship or whatever where you're really quite hurt and um You've had to be really disciplined about it as opposed to how you would normally deal with it, which would be to get upset, tell everybody what terrible person they were uh, and just be really sort of, you know, um, not putting yourself in a good light, even though you're in the right, even though you didn't do anything wrong, the way you react to it would not be in a, not be a, a advisable way. And I think this time, this shows a little bit more emotional emotional stability, perhaps, or emotional maturity. You've kind of acknowledged your pain and your grief, but you've had the discipline to let, to surrender to the situation, like radical acceptance, and just try to move on as best you can and, and, and try to heal from this experience. Um, and I feel the results of that in the tarot part of the deck um i feel you you have succeeded you you followed the torch as it were as to say like hecate and following the torch and she's always a good person to go to if you're confused as to which way you should go um and here it, it just feels like you you made the right choice you made the right call you've spent some time on your own and perhaps you bottle things up a little bit, trying to heal from, from what's happened. And it's only recently now that you've actually um, spoken about what happened. And that speaking about it to someone you trust has moved the goalposts a little. You've shifted the energy, um, especially with this moon as well, um, with this blue moon. I feel that that power of the blue moon has helped you to shift that energy in a really positive way and need i say a little bit of karma um because the person can the other party concerned um i feel in some way it they are more they are more responsible for what happened than you are I'm not saying you're entirely the innocent victim. I think maybe there was some miscommunication. Um, so there's fault on both sides, but it's the other party that are more at fault than you. Okay, so you need to recognise the faults in yourself. You need to review what happened with the disagreement and take on all take on the responsibility of all the mistakes you've made in order to acknowledge that this person um you know they kind of need to address their own you know what what they did wrong is not your problem in a way it's more their problem and they've got to deal with it and they've got to acknowledge it and they've got to work that through just as you have you know you've done you did the homework you did the healing you did the reflection 
and now you're sort of ready to move on as it were but i'm not quite sure the other party is is ready for that um you know you're coming out you're showing yourself you're you're saying look you know i'm okay i you know you haven't broken me i'm okay um and i i i feel the other party is a little bit shocked by that um, I feel that they thought you'd be still pining for them in some ways. Perhaps they needed you to pine for them because it made them feel good. Um, but um, obviously you're not. You're not pining for them. You're not um, begging begging them to take you back. You, you, you're moving on and you're showing yourself to be strong. And well done you. So <laughs> anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I hope that has um, clarified this for you and moving in september i hope your september will be absolutely amazing wonderful and um all i can say for that is if i'm going to see you in another reading then i will see you in a mo if not take care look after yourselves and mind how you go hello pile three and welcome to your reading now unfortunately i've got a little bit of glare on this card so um hopefully that won't impede the reading too much but there we are we'll just do what we can anyway um the card that you chose was ignite your light feel your emotions wash through you and be cleansed by the moonlight which is perfect for the blue moon isn't it that's that lovely and it's blue as well so uh and it's funny because um as i was putting these cards together i just started singing blue moon i don't know if you've heard of that one you know blue moon you saw me standing alone without a pain in my heart without a love of my own i probably got half the words wrong but you know who cares that's what i got so <laughs> let us go through these cards right the oracle cards i have for you are the believe in your own magic oracle cards i have three of those for you and then um a long time deck of mine this is the secret tarot so hopefully we will give you a lovely reading right okay let's go with the first of the oracle cards and we have sword make the change hmm. the next one we have is tower relax and unplug unplug and relax for a spell hmm. and finally we have bitch fire stand up for yourself lovely okay right with the sword make the change are we thinking about having a makeover are we thinking about uh changing our style a little bit um what i what i feel this card is saying you know if this feels right for you if you really feel that this is going to boost your confidence and make you feel better about yourself then yeah you know go for go for that makeover go for that you know new look if, if that feels like that is the that is the direction you know you want to do you know do that glow up you know um but also it's saying that with certainly with the tower here, we're saying, you know, a little bit of self-care, you know, not only, you know, if you want to change your style or whatever, but a little bit of self-care, a little bit of looking after you, making yourself um, a priority for a change rather than worrying about, you know, um, other other things like what the kids doing and blah 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 blah. sometimes you've got to take a little bit of time out for yourself because if you don't look in after yourself you can't look after your family uh very well either you know and that goes for all of us male female whatever you know um there's there's always times when we need to put ourselves first and have a little bit of r and r anyway i feel when you come out of that that is when you're going to be lighting your bitch fire. That's when you're going to be lighting up the world and saying, here I am. You know, don't um, don't put me down. I'm happy as I am. I'm ready to rock and I am going to go for it. So this really feels like, a, again, ignite your light, you know, show people who you are. They, you know, this is this is not the time to hide away. 
uh, I want to say hide in the closet, but you know, um, but yeah, it's not the time to hide in your house and and say, oh, I don't want to go out. You know, go out, enjoy yourselves because that's also self care. That's also taking care of yourself, getting out there and being out in the world. Oh, power yawn. <laughs> right. Okay. So that is the tarot, um, no, the oracle part of the reading. Uh, short and sweet, but there we go. Right, tarot. Now our tarot, we have the five of pentacles, the two of pentacles, the eight of wands, the ten of pentacles, I nearly lost myself then, and finally the eight of cups. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think you need to do some book balancing. <laughs> I don't mean putting books on your head. Um, I kind of feel like there is a a long term. Again, all about coming out of yourself and 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 not hiding away. It kind of feels there's been a long term situation that you have got too comfortable with, as it were, and it, it's got into where you're not moving, you're not doing anything, you're just sort of balancing everything. And um, I said that balancing the books, but I'm not sure if this is financial, to be honest. At first, I thought, oh, balance the books and financial, but no, I actually think this is more about um, personal growth. And that you've got yourself into a bit too much of a comfortable situation. And that's kind of made you a bit, oh, you know, why should I change or why should I do things? You know, I'm, it's almost like you're, you're scared to shine your light. You're scared to, you know, everything feels secure. You know, when I can't really explain it, when things have got too comfortable, now, there's nothing wrong with being comfortable, but it, when you're not challenging yourself, when you're not pushing, you know, when you've stopped doing that, then you can get complacent. And I I feel that you've you've got to let go of that complacency. You've got to move forward, even if it means leaving people behind. You know, you need to go out and find out who you are and... Um, you know, yes, this is comfortable, secure, but it's also stagnating you, if you know what I mean. Um, almost too much for a good thing. And I, I feel the winds of change are coming in to say, no, this is this, this we need to change. Um, you know, he might be happy, but she's bored. Do you know what I mean? That, that, that it just feels like this sort of boredom um is setting in and we we need to move from that um and we need to maybe learn and take what resonated and what what lessons we've learned from that but it, it is equally time to go forward and move on and also the moon <laughs> the moon again um you know with this with this blue moon with this with this moon it's saying you know now's the time now's the time to make the change now's the time to ignite our light there we go <laughs> ignite your light um okay there you go ignite your light and that could look like a full moon as well um you know yeah it's time to go for it however fearful we are about stability and security and everything else sometimes you've got to take some risks um so i hope you've enjoyed that and uh it's given you something to think about um hope you have an amazing september and you get to shine your light and sh show people what you can do um all that remains to be said is take care look after yourselves if i see you in another reading then i'll see you there if not Bye. <laughs>